um, like every as a trainer, every once in a while, you you kind of get this piece of knowledge that just kind of puts everything together, and it's like almost like an aha moment. Uh, I know you've, you 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 know exactly what I'm talking about, and I've got a couple of these uh, pieces from ATG. So probably the biggest one, uh, not just ATG, like there's other coaches like Cal Dietz, who I'm a, a big fan of, and I've I've kind of studied his work as well, and I've um, and he's really helped me me improve my vertical jump, something that I've struggled with. And a big piece to improving my my speed and my jump has come from developing my lower limb. So that's the foot, that's the uh, you know the the calf, the the tibialis. Uh, because if we, because generally I did this wasted a long uh, many years on just squatting and deadlifting, which helped at the beginning, but it will only take you so far. You squat and deadlift, your hips will get really really strong, but if your knee, knee joint and ankle joint doesn't have balance and they're not equally as strong, uh, the, the nervous system will actually downregulate how much force we can produce because it understands there's a weak link in the chain and it's trying to protect us so we don't actually hurt ourselves. So, so, we, so if we are able to actually get the foot, the ankle joint and the knee joint as strong as the hips, that's when we're really going to see some cool things happen. Um, and that's probably been a big, big piece to the puzzle. The, uh, the other thing is just about creating stiffness in the joints as well. This isn't so much from ATG, but this is just some bits and pieces that I picked up. Um, like as we run and jump, as our foot contacts the floor, if we can't create uh, enough stiffness in our joints, this, we almost sink into the position and we don't utilize our tendons as well. And we're not, we're not very elastic. So we are very muscle driven uh, and we're, we're, we're wasting, we're not as efficient. So, you know what I mean? So when we're able to get, or hip, knee, ankle joint strong, and we're able to create stiffness when we contact the floor, that's when we're actually gonna see, um, you know, our speed and, and vertical jump which is starting to increase. So you're telling me isometrics might be uh, a good way to program or? hundred <laughs> percent, man. And, I, and you were one of the first guys that kind of got me onto it. And cool. you, you, I remember this was like back in 2018 when I met you, you were like on the ISOs already. And then I started hearing them everywhere. Uh, and I started listening to the Just Fly performance, um, and then I just I started playing using them on myself and I was like, all right, cool. There's something really here. So it was pretty, pretty cool. Yeah. Awesome, man. That's so cool.